All right, welcome back to the Weekend Handyman. Today uh, we're going to be trying to diagnose why this lawnmower is uh, dying on us. It uh, seems like when it gets under load and going up hills, it just shuts down and dies or starts backfiring. So uh, we're going to try to figure that out. Uh, right off, we know that it's uh, backfiring through the exhaust. So we know that most likely it's not a carburetor problem or it'd probably be backfiring through the carburetor. Um, I mean, it still could be a carburetor problem, but most likely not. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is uh, to check compression to see if uh, rings are worn out. Okay, so in order to check compression on this, uh, we know it's a two cylinder engine, so we're going to have uh, two spark plugs that we're going to check compression from. Uh, what we have right here is a compression tester gauge you can get from your local auto parts store. Um, so, here we go. Okay. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to pull the spark plug uh, boot off of the spark plug, as you can see the spark plug here. Now we're going to take, uh, this just happens to be a uh, 13 16 spark plug, and uh, we're going to be pull it off. Alright, so when you take the spark plug out, you want to take a look at it. So the thing you really want to want to look for on here is uh, to make sure you don't see any white spots or uh, any parts of the uh, little electrode on top of there starting to corrode. Uh, that means you're running too lean or too hot and uh, your spark plug is getting eaten up and means it's not good for your engine. So. so if you go on the internet, you can find uh, guides and little picture diagrams to uh, show you how to measure how your engine's doing based off of how your spark plug looks. I mean, that's your number one best way to tell uh, if your engine, engine's firing properly and running fine is by looking at your spark plug. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, take the hose out of the uh, compression tester uh, package. For uh, In this particular kit, we're gonna need the hose and the, the gauge. So, uh, okay, so we've got the compression uh, tester all hooked up and uh, we're ready to go ahead and check compression. Uh, since this is a twin cylinder, uh, this is the one cylinder we're checking right now. We've disconnected the uh, spark plug boot from the other side so the engine doesn't start to run on us. And uh, here we go. Alright, so we've got uh, approximately 45 psi in this cylinder here. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side. Okay, so with the compression values, uh, with what they were, um, compression should generally be uh, around 100 or so, the, uh, a decent number for this. Uh, we know that either the rings are gone or uh, either the cylinders or all, uh, walls are all worn out, um, or there's, the valves aren't seating correctly are uh, usually the main causes for this. There are others, but uh, those are really the main causes. Um, we know that since both cylinders were fairly low in compression. Uh, the chances of two valves being stuck open, uh, one valve on each side or something like that, uh, is pretty low. So we're, as of now, we're assuming that uh, the cylinder, the, the rings are bad or uh, just low compression due to the, the cylinder or the wall. Um, at some point later in time, we may take apart the heads to take a look at the valves and make sure they are actually seating properly. But uh, as of right now, we're just uh, calling it quits and saying it's got low compression and uh, going to need quite a bit of work. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions.